Welcome to Midnight Landing, the first arcade flight simulator created by Taito, a direct prequel to Jet Digo and a spiritual predecessor to Sega Airline Pilots and landing hero Haneda. Let's insert our 100 yen coin and see how we do. It's really cool to hear voice recordings in such an old game. Switching from automatic pilot to manual. This is control tower. Midnight Air Flight 1, do you copy? Midnight Air Flight 1, roger. So just like Sega's Super Scalar games of the same era, Midnight Landing uses 2D sprites to give the impression of 3D gameplay. 3... 2... Similar to Sega's airline pilots, the arcade cabinet's controls are a yoke and a throttle. If you land successfully, you hear a post-flight announcement by the cabin crew. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for flying with Midnight Air. We have just landed at Amsterdam. And post-flight there's an animation showing your deviation from the ideal flight path. However, if you land too late and overrun the runway, you get a display of flashing lights, the likes of which I haven't seen since that Pokemon episode. Port out. So that's pretty much it for Midnight Landing. I have covered Jet2Go 2 on this channel already, and the link will be on the end cards. I am hoping to cover the arcade sequels, Top Landing, Landing Gear, and Landing High Japan at some point too. I hope you found this entertaining, if you did please drop a like, feel free to subscribe for regular sim content, take care and I'll see you next time.